Hi everybody, it's AKMan1984 and I'm here today to start showing you a tutorial on how to make the uh, registration for the computers and how to um, basically going to start the uh, a tutorial on how to do C CC uh, sensors and also the registration computer right here. So I'm going to just show you guys uh, how it was. And also I did a little update uh, on this uh, reactor uh, project I had, like a very small update. And uh, I'm going to show you guys that. And also I'm just, then I'm just going to jump into uh, Notepad++ and I'm going to show you guys the code. If you guys want me to, to put the code into the description so you guys can download it, let me know. But it's all, always better to... Uh, write your own code because you might need to change it or you might make it little make it look a little different and uh, it's also good to figure out how to go through the process of doing the code so let's see what I've added so it's everything's the same AKMan 1984 and password and authorization code so the door opens you go inside and then it says, uh, welcome to the nuclear react uh, control, <laughs> control room. And here it says, hello, Ikiman, please enter password to continue. Now, uh, hopefully this is working pretty good. I think there's like a little bug in it, but uh, um, so let's say I enter in the right code. It says password correct. And then it goes into an option menu. So here we have room lights, reactor room lights. Reactor door, exit door, ice maker, temperature, lights test, and alarm test. Now, these are not working yet, um, but, and I think there's going to be more. But for now, everything's pretty much the same. The reactor is working as it is. And uh, if, let's say, oop, let's try, uh, hold on, let's re let me restart the game. Let's say, uh, I do the same exact thing, or I just do something different. <laughs> and, uh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So, so uh, I took my name like that. And let's say I put the wrong password. It's going to say incorrect password. And it's going to get fucked. <laughs> so I haven't finished it yet, but it's going to, I think I'm going to do like a three times try. Or something and then uh, if you fail the three times it's gonna ask you to go out and do the registration again so uh, if we just go out here already the, the computer has restarted oh I actually should have Anyways. Um, so that's the update so let me uh, patch this up and restart the system again and actually, I'm just going to go into uh, into Notepad++ and show you guys the code. Okay, so I'm back in Notepad++, and the startup program uh, of that computer is uh, this. And it's I've already shown you guys this program where uh, you just uh, uh, and press enter to continue into the next uh, program, and it's pretty much the same. Uh, you clear the screen. You do a uh, while true do. Uh, this could be a first and this could be second. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But uh, And then you open the red net uh, in the back of the computer. And this uh, you don't need, but you can have it. It uh, basically shows you the ID of the computer. I think I'm just going to take this out. Um, and then uh, you print out the little box. And also the... Uh, the little welcome screen and here it's uh, waiting for you to press the enter button and the enter button is number 28 and then once you press enter it will run the A program now don't forget that the A program needs to be in the same file of the computer that you're working on so if you do run a uh, shell run uh, A it's gonna if you don't have the A program inside the same file as your as your the computer that you're working on, it's not gonna work. So um, that's why you need to have the A program. So the A program's here, 
and this is a kind of a big program here I put a function to clear you don't really need it. I don't even know why I put it <laughs> but uh, instead of writing uh, a term down dot function every time if you want to do uh, sorry it turned out clear every time you could just put uh, clear like this um, actually sorry um, like this so I don't need I don't want that actually so let's just do it like this there you go alright so it's uh, at first it's gonna print the registration on the top and a little box which is empty at the start and then it's gonna print out please enter your username and then at the bottom of the of the page here uh, it's gonna be like let's just make a little space there so at the bottom of the page here it's gonna write username with the two dots and it's gonna wait for you to write something and then here you see username every time you have you wanna be this is like I set it to this name username with the capitals and it's gonna read so whatever you input after this it's gonna read it and then it's gonna it's gonna uh, capture it in this username variable so this is a variable here so every time you enter that in it's gonna capture it into the variable and here every time you do this command here it's gonna send the variable that you've captured over to rednet and also you can make it print out to anything you want so here why I have two red nets is because first it's sending it to the to the computer that's standing in the middle of the room and here it's sending it to the big screen uh, the monitor and it's outputting it to the monitor afterwards so if you do um, this command exactly with this username uh, you can change this if you want you could just put on a user or a name or you can you, you don't even need to have the capitals like that but uh, I mean you can have it just have this and this and this and this the same so that's how you output the username every time someone types it I want to find out a way to make uh, the the password to be uh, every time you type it in dots like you know like you would do uh, in like a real world uh, so that no one can see your password so uh, I have to figure that out but uh, this password is the same thing it prints out please enter your password and then at the bottom here it prints out uh, password I also added a clear line because here on the bottom will be uh, the uh, username printed out and uh, if you have two of the same printed out sometimes it, me it mess messes it up so it's always good to do a clear line at uh, if you want to uh, do it. This also if don't don't put this in uh, in somewhere here. Uh, let's say let's say you have something printed out and you want to clear it. It's always better to do something that's bigger than the word than you have already set up, already printed out. Why? It's because it just will clear out that word that's already there uh, if you put this let's say you clear this line it will clear everything everything in that line will be cleared and then you'll just have a uh, blank spot here with uh, nothing and you're gonna have to print uh, this bar this these uh, these number signs again so password is the same as the username it uh, it waits for you to write something and then it outputs it to the small computer first and then it also outputs it to the screen that you're working on so is as you see here user pass user pass user pass is always the same way it's written if it's not the, the same way it's written it's not going to work here authorization code is the same thing again the only thing is different is that i changed the name See how I put just code instead of doing, I don't know, user code or I don't know, whatever. I just put code and then code again. Here, it's not, this is not doing anything because I have put the two dashes here. And uh, it's because it creates uh, problems if I take, the, take it out for now. Um, but I'm going to put this back. 
so that the code can be outputted to the, uh, the computers. Here's the authorization code being printed out. Uh, actually, there's a problem here. There you go. Um, I guess uh, you don't need two of this, these. <laughs> I don't know why I did that mistake, but anyways, we'll fix that later. And then it prints out the uh, registration complete. Please proceed inside. Here, this is a little uh, uh, red net signals I'm sending to another computer somewhere else. That's uh, uh, it's, uh, um, turning on the lights inside the room and opening the door for you. And that I will show you guys that later. Let's go into the other computer that's in the middle of the room and see the code in there too. Okay, so this is the other computer that's inside the room. Here, um, this function. Uh, it's not my, this is not my code, it's actually Mystic T's code again. And what this does is, uh, whatever you want to be printed in the center of the of the uh, screen, can be printed in the center of the, pr of the screen. And this works on monitors and computers, but the monitor one is a little different than this one, than this, co than this code. I will show you that code another time. But this is the code for, uh, printing in the center of the screen. And how it works is every time you want to print something in the center of the screen, instead of writing print, you have to write print centered. Uh, you can always change this to, I don't know, print C, and then you're going to just have to put the print C every time. So uh, once you've done that, uh, if you want to change the positions of it, you just change these numbers. And you see this is the width. And this is supposed to be the, I'm sorry, this is the width. So again, they're just uh, canceling each other out. So first thing you do is print hello. And then it waits for a signal from the computer. So the first signal, if it, I don't know if you remember, but it was username. And then here, if you look, uh, it's going to print the message that it receives. Um, now. That's how uh, it does. It, you don't need to write uh, username all the time, like uh, here. But for the password, now the password. This doesn't take the 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 password how it's written in the uh, in the other computer. I just put it like this, um, but uh, it just looks better. So the password. Every time the computer read something it's exactly like the same as the other computer so it reads it's going to wait for it to be something to be inputted so it's going to read the password which is going to be inputted to the computer and it's going to be a signal from the red net and then every time uh, it's going to wait for you uh, to enter that password and if it's matching what the message was it's going to say password correct and if it's uh, not, and if, uh, oh, sorry, after the password is correct, it's going to run the A program again. If it's not correct, right now I just have it to restart the computer, but that might change in the future. So um, after it prints out password incorrect, it's just going to restart. So uh, let's say you put the correct password, you it goes on to the A program, and the A program is uh, I've already shown you kind of the same program here. I put the print center here and then uh, uh, this is just uh, I, this might change in the future. This is actually the same program I had for the uh, console computer in my other series. I showed you guys how to turn on lights and how to turn off lights or how to turn on computers or how to turn off computers. It's the same thing. So I'm not done yet, uh, as you can see. I have a lot of things to do. Uh, but for now, that's it for, for this tutorial. Hopefully that uh, helped you guys. Let me know if you want me to put these codes in the description so I, you guys can download it and play with it. Uh, this one, it's pretty much the same. I don't know if you guys want it. Uh, I already put this code up on my uh, tutorial series. But these ones are, are a little different. Uh, so let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.